External inputs. External inputs. Information flows into the application from onlines and it flows into the application via other applications. These are basically the two ways that information can come into an application. External inputs define an elementary process in which data or control information crosses the boundary from outside to inside. It's how files are maintained, and it's also how the application is controlled. By controlled, what I mean by that is, is how it's manipulated and the behaviors change. And I'm going to discuss the idea of control in a whole other uh, section in this chapter. External inputs. The data may come from a data input screen or another application or some other type of input source. The data is used to maintain one or more internal logical files. Maintain means to add, change, or delete information. Add, change, or delete are the keys here. Again, information flows into the application from online or some other device and then also come into the application from other applications, external to this application. Add, change, and delete. An EI adds, changes, and deletes information on a file. This would represent three external inputs, or three EIs, to add, to change, and delete information. These are the only three things that can be done to a data store. External inputs can add information to a file. They can change information to a file. And they can delete information to a file. This would represent three external inputs. And it represents three different actions. Function points are based upon the traditional idea of complexity. One to one is simplest. One to many is more complex. Many to one is similar to one to many. And then many to many is the most complex. That goes from least complex to more complex. All the transactions, actually all the components have a similar table to this. The transactions are based upon the number of data elements and the number of file types referenced. In this case, an external input with one to four data elements and less than two file types referenced would be rated as a low. Five to 15 would be rated as a low too. If it has more than 15 data elements, it would be rated as an average. In this case, if you had two file types referenced and between five and 15 data elements, it's rated as an average. An EI can update more than one table or file. In this case, this would be one external input with two file types referenced. A low EI has three function points. An average EI has four function points. And a high EI has six function points. Again, the more functional points, the more complex. EI is defined is an elementary process in which data or control information crosses the boundary from outside to inside. It's rated based upon data elements and file types referenced.